This is my three axis CNC machine. I built this primarily to be an engraver, but you could use it for routing or small milling applications as well. Um, at the end of this video, I'll go to the project page and show you where you can download all the STL files for the parts that need to be printed and find a full bill of materials and complete instructions on how to build this uh, machine. It, uh, it drives me nuts when I see all these cool projects on YouTube and nobody answers any questions or shares anything. So I'm big into open source and sharing my projects. So I'll, I'll show you that after the uh, video here. Um, show you a couple of the, the movements here. I'll make a couple more videos on programming it um, and loading the software to it as well. Uh, a little bit about this engraver. Um, the frame is made from 45 millimeter extruded aluminum tubing. I got this from McMaster Car for I think 48 bucks for a full eight foot section that built this entire machine. Uh, table, eight by eight piece of aluminum from McMaster Car. I think that was 16 bucks. Um, all the black components you see are all 3D printed on my DaVinci XYZ printer. Uh, we've got 8 millimeter bearing rods uh, from Amazon. We've got T8 threaded screw with anti-backlash nuts. I think those were 10 or 11 bucks each off of Amazon. All the other bearings are, are pretty standard off-the-shelf items from, um, from McMaster and Amazon and eBay. Um, the stepper motors, these are NEMA 17 stepper motors from Stepper Online. Those, uh, I think those were $8 each, and it uses a 24 volt power supply from Stepper Online as well. Um, back here in the enclosure, I've got an Arduino Uno with a CNC shield on top of it. It's uh, pretty inexpensive. I think I paid $18 uh, for that whole uh, package there. The, uh, the holder right here, I set it up for just a cheap Dremel tool for the 100 or 200 series Dremels, but I also have the STL file for making that attachment there that you can put on the uh, you can see that very well with the lighting in here, but uh, so I made I made that attachment for holding a uh, 52 millimeter uh, air cooled spindle motor. You can get those off eBay or Amazon. I think they're you know run 100 to 150 bucks, and uh, it'll fit in that holder. And they have I think an E11 collet with uh, some different. Um, you know size end mills that you could put in there for for doing different work on it um, Give you a few close-ups here what kind of lighting I've got in here Ooh, Lighting's terrible, but I get an idea of how this thing went together that angle liner is just standard angle iron from the hardware store some aluminum angle you can see the Screws in there bed carrier under here. And that it's got these brackets that I printed to help align it to keep it straight, but it's also bolted in from underneath from the bottom so the aluminum is bolted together. It's not just plastic holding it together. But the whole thing's fairly stout and then one thing I want to show you is the way I designed all of these uh, carriers is that um, sorry about the cumbersome camera here so the way I designed all these carriers is that uh, the these uh, LMU 88 uh, 8 millimeter bearings they just snap in to the print file and to the to the carrier so they actually pop and snap into place and then you can put zip ties around them to secure them in place so that worked really well and uh, it doesn't cost very much those bearings are really cheap so here's an example part that I engraved earlier for video so I'd show it in this video as well just to show you what it can do that was just a real quick engraving there if you come here to the project page on GitHub and you find my account, Chris Annan, um, under the project AE1 CNC Engrave Router, uh, on the project page here, I've got the engraver manual to PDF. 
um, that has all the bill of materials and all the instructions to make this uh, CNC machine. I've also got the STL files here that you can download so you can print the components that you need and I also threw in the step files if you want those. Um, the PDF is uh, 68 pages and I'll just roll through it here real quick. Got all of the full set of bill of materials, um, every component you need to build the engraver including all the printed components and then it goes into the assembly instructions so it's, it's uh, fairly comprehensive. I think anybody could build this machine fairly easily. Um, also, on, uh, on my project page, I got a few other projects, so while you're here, I got a uh, six-axis 3D printable robot project, so check that out while you're here. A um, lot goes into these projects, so if anyone wants to donate, I'd certainly appreciate it, but I hope everybody enjoys the engraver and uh, that uh, people find it easy to make. All right, thank you for watching.